Hello everyone. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today my message comes from the book of Genesis and my subtitle is Abraham. When God wanted to create the world, he spoke to the element. When he wanted to create the fishes, he spoke to the water. When he wanted to create the animals, he spoke to the bush. But when he wanted to create you, he spoke to himself. Until you are made by God, you will be limited in life. If you are self-made, you will be self-destroyed. Your beauty and color will never emerge until you get to your source, which is God. This is why a man can never be fulfilled or satisfied until he has a link with God. Then God said, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. Many people misinterpret this particular verse of scripture, but the Bible says, in the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. So from the very beginning, the woman was created with the man on the same day. But God brought out the woman later on purpose. But she was not an afterthought. Then God said, Let them have dominion over all things. You will note that Adam took over and dominated all things created by God. The moment you are connected with God, the moment you are connected with your source, you can dominate your world. There is a man who stood out in the Bible after the fall of man. God described this man as his friend. He was a friend of God. God spoke with him face to face. His name is Abraham. Abraham started walking with God when he was 75. But how was he able to dominate his world? How was he able to be so successful that God described him as his friend? There are five things that Abraham did that enabled him to dominate his world, that helped him to become the friend of God. The first is that Abraham was a man of faith. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be, and be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of his wife Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what God has promised, he was able to perform. It was counted unto him as righteousness. Friends, faith is being fully persuaded of the truth, which is the word of God. In spite of the prevailing circumstances, until that truth triumph. This means that you have to be fully persuaded that what God has written and all his promises in the Holy Scriptures, he is able to perform. Abraham stood on the integrity of God's word because God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. The second thing Abraham did was that he was a man of obedience. In Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 4, God said to Abraham, Get out of your family's house. Get out of your country, 
and go to the land I will show you. God said to Abraham, I want to make you great. I want to establish you. And in order for me to do that, you need to come out from your family. Get out from your people because they don't worship me. Abraham was the first to worship God from his background. Friends, God is saying to you today, don't think like the way the world think. Come out of the thinking pattern of the world and agree with God. Because the moment you agree with God, the moment you surrender your life to God, the moment you believe in Jesus Christ, I can tell you on authority that what obedience can do for you, many years of hard work and toil, fasting and prayers can never achieve that for you. Thirdly, Abraham was a man of hospitality and love. Let brotherly love continue. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Abraham was an embodiment of hospitality and love. In fact, in Genesis chapter 18, Abraham went out of his way to treat strangers he never knew or have never met. As a result of that, God revealed his thoughts to Abraham and went ahead to save his family, his nephew Lot, and his wife and children in the preceding chapter, chapters 19 of Genesis. The world is waiting for our hospitality, not our hostility. The fourth attribute is that Abraham was a father. Not every man is a father. This is what God said about Abraham. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. Genesis 18, 19. Abraham was an exemplary father. He lived a righteous life. He worshipped God in righteousness and he taught his family to follow, obey and worship God. Abraham never told his family how to live their lives. He only lived a righteous life and his family follow in his footsteps. Never tell your children to do something that you will not do. The fifth and final thing that Abraham did was that he was a giver. The Bible said, I will bless you and you will be a blessing. Friends, the reason God blesses us is so that we can become a blessing to other people. Abraham became so blessed that he became a blessing into other people's life. Abraham gave arms to other people, to the less privileged. He gave arms to the welfare of other people. Therefore, when God blesses you and you have more than enough, make sure that you are giving to the less privileged. Make sure that you are giving to the church. Make sure that you are giving to charitable organization. Friends, Abraham was a man of faith and obedience. He embodied hospitality and love. He was an exemplary father and a generous giver. Therefore, if you want to dominate your world, if you want to be successful in life and be successful in your field of endeavor, have faith in God. Be obedient to God. Learn to be hospitable and love people. Be an exemplary parent and learn 
to be a generous giver. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your servant, Abraham, and we thank you for all the things we have learned from him. We pray that you will inspire us by your spirit to continue to have faith in you. Help us to obey your commandments. Help us to be hospitable and to love our neighbors. Help us to be exemplary parent and to be generous givers. And so we pray and commit ourselves into your care. We commit the coming week into your hands that you will be with us and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>